Linux fans, Rob here. So my intention today was to uh, post a first look, or my first look, at Solus OS. They've recently released a uh, new version, and it has the Budgie desktop, their own desktop there, of 10.2.7, as well as uh, Solus 1.2.0.5. So uh, the, um, I installed in a live environment from a USB flash drive, uh, booted up, everything seemed fine, so I went ahead with the install, just spent a minute or two just kind of looking around. So did the install, the install was flawless, they have a very nice installer, I'm not sure if it's their own or if they have uh, borrowed from another installer and kind of gave it, give it their own look. Anyway, it worked great and um, installed, booted up fine, and uh, I didn't want to spend any time really going in and doing much because I really wanted to give a first look feel and kind of step through the process of, of hey, I'm experiencing this for the first time and, and you know, this is what it looks like and feels like kind of thing. thought that would be fun to do. And um, so I noticed that there was a system update, uh, not a very large update, but it was a system update, security update, and a uh, package update. So I decided to do just the system update and the security, no, I left the security update, I did the software update and the system update. Well, that update only took a few minutes, uh, rebooted, came back in, and at first glance everything seemed fine, but then I noticed um, that launching into the app launcher, the menu bar, um, menu launcher, whatever you want to call it in Solus, um, just kind of had a slight pause. So then I looked over to the right hand side where they have a slide out menu or panel that's kind of like the, um, excuse me, kind of like the um, uh, deep in desktop environment, which I like very much, uh, went from having no button to access that to having a button for access. And so that was a, a graphical UI change. And I noticed that the uh, group of icons which just, you know, when I first booted into that environment the first time before the update, sorry, getting out of focus there, um, now they had individual settings. So I decided to proceed on with the, uh, the video and um, got it completed and kind of stepped through everything and really liked what I saw with the exception of I started to notice really bad lag to the point that it almost become unusable. I would click and you know file explorer and wait and wait and wait the app center and wait and wait and wait. Uh, then when I reviewed the video, uh, the audio was fine and I was using simple screen recorder. Uh, the audio was fine, but the video, I mean, it was just not usable. The video itself was not usable. So I'm not posting this video to come down on Solus OS. The reason I'm posting this, and I need, I guess, to file a bug report for sure. Uh, because I'm wondering now if the that update that I applied, that system update, caused issues. And so since this is such a recent release, you know, that kind of thing is possible. So I decided to use my YouTube channel forum as a forum to say, hey, Solus fans, have you applied a recent update? Or are you using this current version of 1.2.0.5? And if so, did you have issues after you updated? Now, I want to... I want to just kind of fall back a minute here and just let you know. I installed this on the new test machine, which is a glorified netbook. It's running, you know, with two gigs of RAM and a, a slow, not a fast solid state drive. I, again, I don't, it's like MMC drive or something like that. It's a, it's a cheap uh, solid state drive that's slow. Uh, with an Intel Celeron processor, it's an HP stream. You know, so I'm not going to say that it's equated to the hardware because uh, I don't I believe their system requirements are, are less than that um, and when I booted into the live environment I mean it seemed to be fluid and smooth and you know I was really looking forward to it yesterday I installed elementary OS which just turned that this netbook I'm speaking of test machine into you know what seemed like a beast it was just flying around smooth as silk so something's up there uh, you know, and I hesitated whether to even really post this, but I thought, you know what, Linux is a community and we're, you know, we help each other and uh, so I figured I better get this out there quickly. If there is a problem, perhaps this will help someone as well. 
and um, and if the developers of, of Budgie are seeing this, I'm not coming down on you at all. Things like this can happen, and uh, you know I like what I saw. And and for for those of you who have watched my other videos, you know uh, you know I'm positive about what's going on with the majority of the distros that I find. So anyway, just wanted to get this out there. I'm disappointed, and I was um, you know I had requests to hey check out Solus. Maybe I said Budgie a minute ago. The Solus team. Um, you know, I was happy to check out Solus, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to try to reinstall and kind of go through a process and see uh, maybe did the update cause an issue or um, or or what, you know. So uh, I'm going to experiment and maybe report back, but please comment here if you've experienced anything like this after the release of 1.2.0.5 with, uh, again, Budgie Desktop of 10.2.7. So... Uh, you know, again, not coming down on uh, the Solus team here. It's just, uh, and maybe it's just user error, or my my experience, or a bad install, or something like that. But we will see. We'll get to the bottom of it. All right. Thanks, Linux fans. We'll check you later.